Imagine being locked away from everyone and everything that makes you human. We're going to the darkest parts of history to find the 10 worst jail conditions that have ever been recorded. This trip is not for the weak of heart, so be careful. Number one, the Black Hole of Calcutta. So let's start with a throwback to 1756 in the Black Hole of Calcutta. Think of the smallest room you've ever been in, then shove in 146 people. Yeah, it's like a rush hour subway, crammed to the max, but in a tiny room with no exits. It's the peak of summer in India. No AC, no breeze, just the kind of heat that makes you think the sun's got a personal vendetta. The prisoners are packed in so tight, if someone wanted to turn around, they'd have to submit a written request two weeks in advance. Fast forward to morning, and it's not a pretty picture. Only 23 people out of the original 146 make it through the night. The rest, they didn't win the survival lottery. It's a real life horror story that makes you appreciate the little things like, you know, breathing room and not being part of a historical human jigsaw puzzle. Number two, La Sante Prison. Moving on to number two, we drop by Paris, not for the Eiffel Tower, but for a trip to La Sante Prison. Forget about those Parisian rays. The sun's on permanent vacation here. The specialty of this house? Solitary confinement that's like the silent treatment from the universe. Imagine being left alone with your thoughts so long, they start to feel like uninvited house guests that won't leave. We're talking a level of quiet that could make even a mime uncomfortable. It's the kind of place where you could hear a pin drop and ricochet off your sanity. The isolation in La Santé could make you question whether alone time was ever a good idea. So next time you're craving a little peace and quiet, be grateful you're not getting the La Santé special. Number three, Tadmore Military Prison. At number three, it's off to the Syrian desert, where Tadmore Military Prison looms like a nightmare. The name alone is enough to send shivers down your spine. This isn't your standard bad day at the office. It's daily beatings and a side of execution threats with your scorched desert air. Think of the hottest day you've ever experienced. Then crank it up to a level where even the camels are saying, nope, that's Tadmore for you. A place where the heat is almost as oppressive as the regime running the joint. So when you're sweating over a spicy meal and feeling tough, just remember, the heat at Tadmore was served with a side of sheer terror. Makes your spicy curry look like ice cream, doesn't it? Number four, Karandiru Penitentiary. Next up at number four, we're visiting sunny Brazil. But forget the beaches, we're checking into Karandiru Penitentiary, infamous for its 1992 bloodbath. Picture this, a prison riot turns into a free-for-all with the police, leaving over a hundred inmates dead. It's like the worst game of cops and robbers ever played. It wasn't just the riot, Karandiru was the kind of place where disease ran rampant and violence was just part of the daily routine. If prisons had a Yelp review, this place would be the one-star horror story you can't even believe is real. Think of the worst roommate you've ever had, then multiply it by a hundred. That's your cellmate in Karandiru, where it's less about doing time and more about dodging danger. So next time you're complaining about a little snore from the other side of the room, Remember, the lullabies in Karandiru were a lot less soothing. Number five, Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. On the hit parade of prison nightmares takes us to Alcatraz, affectionately known as The Rock. You might think, cool name, but there's nothing cool about it. This place was the Houdini proof jacket of prisons. Escape? More like a pipe dream that'd sink faster than your hopes at a Vegas slot machine. Surrounded by the chilly embrace of San Francisco Bay, Alcatraz was where they sent the baddest of the bad. The kind of guys who had their mugshots taken in portrait mode. But it wasn't the cold or the bars that got to you. It was the silence. The kind that echoed louder than a shout. Isolation here was like being ghosted by the world. You had plenty of time for self-reflection, but staring into your soul without a break? That's not deep. That's a one-way ticket to crazy town. And unlike the tourists who visit now, for the guests of Alcatraz, there was no souvenir shop at the end of the tour. Number six, Rikers Island. Coming in at number six, Rikers Island stands as a stark reminder that not all monsters live in the past. This slice of New York City is no Central Park picnic. Think less sex in the city and more survivor urban jungle. It's got all the charm of a rush hour subway car if that car was also on fire and the conductor was a sadist. Rikers isn't just a prison, it's a petri dish of neglect and abuse, where the system itself seems to be serving a sentence, one of life in chaos. The kind of place where the phrase, watch your back, isn't just advice, 
It's a survival strategy. Modern horror story? More like a daily grind of nightmares for the unfortunate souls clocking in time there. If prison's supposed to reform, Rikers missed the memo. Instead, it's more like the school of hard knocks, where the curriculum is dodging danger and the graduation rate is dismal. Number 7. Potesti Prison Landing at number 7, we've got Potesti Prison in Romania, taking us back to the chillier times of the Cold War. But forget the spy novels and secret codes, Potesti was about a re-education that would make any school look like a playground. This wasn't your average detention for passing notes in class. No, Potesti was the kind of place that turned the whole concept of learning on its head. Think less Pavlov's dogs and more Frankenstein's monster. Here, they weren't interested in your mind. They wanted your soul on a platter. The experiment they called re-education, a twisted cocktail of psychological games and physical pain. It was like if a chess match and a boxing fight had a baby, and that baby hated you. The human spirit got checked at the door, and trust me, there was no lost and found. So, when you think your job's retraining sessions are torture, remember Potesti. Suddenly those PowerPoint slides don't seem so bad, do they? Number 8. Camp 22. Number 8 is shrouded in secrecy and whispers. It's Camp 22 in North Korea. This isn't the kind of camp with sing-alongs and s'mores. It's the kind where the words human rights are as foreign as an honest politician. Imagine a place so wrapped up in mystery that just talking about it feels like you're breaking some unspoken rule. Here, rumors of human experimentation bubble up like a bad science fiction plot. Only there's nothing fictional about it. Camp 22 is where the truth gets stranger and more horrifying than any tale. Where what's happening behind closed doors makes you wish it were just a boogeyman story. So next time you're spooked by a creaky floorboard or a shadow at night, remember? The real chills come from places like Camp 22, where the darkness is all too real. Number 9. Gitmo Swinging in at number 9, we've got Gitmo, also known as Guantanamo Bay. This sunny spot in Cuba might sound like a vacation destination, but the only thing it's hosting is a whole lot of controversy. Picture this, a place where the clock stopped, trials are as rare as a unicorn, and the guest list is more exclusive than a royal wedding. Only nobody wants an invite. Guantanamo's become a synonym for the never-ending gray area between law and order, where the word temporary stretches longer than a Monday morning. It's got more shadows than a film noir festival, and each one's got a story that could turn a human rights textbook into a horror novel. The debate sparked by Gitmo's existence could outlast the Energizer Bunny, keeping lawyers, politicians, and activists busy for decades. So while some argue over the legality, the folks inside are probably just wondering if they'll ever get to press the fast forward button on life. When you're mad that you have to wait too long at the DMV, think about how long people have to wait at Gitmo. Really makes it seem easy to stand next to that guy with the weird cough, doesn't it? Number 10, ADX Florence Supermax. At scary number 10, ADX Florence Supermax is at the top of our list. It's the highest point of isolation in the great United States of America. Think of it as the VIP area of a jail, where V stands for very isolated person. Here, prisoners get a cozy one-room suite the size of a broom closet. You can enjoy 23 hours of me time every day in a concrete paradise that is less tiny home and more tiny hole. What about the view? A beautiful gray wall that doesn't change, the pinnacle of simple art. Personal space isn't a nice to have, it's a must. If you thought being stuck in traffic was the worst thing that could happen to you by yourself, try parking in the same spot for decades. The business? That's all I have to say about it. And no, they don't get more interesting over time. ADX Florence really cares about the max in Supermax. It gives you the most privacy, safety, and time to think about life's puzzles, like how many ways are there to count to 23 in 23 hours. So, we've carefully made our way through the history of confinement. It has been a very scary trip, but here's the catch. You, dear friend, have been our cellmate while we've been locked up with these sad stories. Yes, we have locked you in this story, but there is a key under the mat. You could stay on these pages for a long time and think about people. Or you could just find the nearest exit and run, thankful that the only bars you've seen here are ones with gripping stories.